Hey guys, today I'm actually going to do a speculation in terms of telling you this is the card, this is the current price, and this is what I expect the card to be in, let's say, a year. Now, days undoing, I currently own zero copies of this card. I will probably buy some from my local store, from my new local store, because I know they have a lot of them in stock, and they sent me a picture of how many they had. So, Days Undoing is very, very good. It is a Mythic from Magic Origins, which just rotated out. So there is the opportunity to get these at even cheaper price. I'm assuming after the Kaladesh Pro Tour, two weeks after that, it will probably be the lowest price point for Days Undoing, unless there's a spike. Now, when I look at cards, which I like collecting, I say to myself, is the card's ability unique? And this card's ability is rather unique. Is And then I ask myself, how many of these exist out there? Now, for a recent set, Origins was not open as much as, the, as Kaladas or Return to Innistrad, Shadows over Innistrad, or Cons of Tarkir. Origins was a relatively unopened set where there was a mythic Jace that went over $100 because there was just not that many of him in stock. So I like the set. I like the fact that it is a mythic. I like the fact that it is blue. And overall, you have to look at its modern playability. Legacy, and that's all interesting, but if it's not playable in modern, it's probably not playable in Legacy unless there's a, another factor involved. This card is just waiting for another card to be printed. It reminds me a lot of Dark Depths. Dark Depths, before you had Vampire Hexmage, and then the stage, and then other cards that would help um, the card, was a bulk. It was a bulk card. And now it is incredibly expensive, even after a reprint. This reminds me a lot of that card. It's just waiting for another card to break it. And eventually there will be its Vampire Hex Mage. I just don't know when that will be. So I typically don't do this type of speculation. Um, but I do want to make this video. To show the buy point is $3 right now. And you can buy as many copies as you want right now for $3 in TCG Player. In a year from now I will go ahead and review this card. And see if it actually for me it has to at least get to $6. I'm expecting it to go to 10 It has to get to $6 because of the buy list, and then that's the break-even point. If it goes above $6, I would consider that pretty good. Uh, $10 is my ideal price point for it, but I could also see it hitting 15 or 20 as soon as uh, the combo piece comes out before settling back down to 6 8 or 10 Anyway, bye guys.